Hey everybody, welcome back to a very elegant episode of Northern Lions Challenge Runs and the Binding of Isaac. Run today is called Spaceman, suggested by YouTube user BossLog96. I dropped 96 boss logs in the toilet this morning. Oh, that's actually kind of gross now that I think about it. In any case, we are able to take whatever character we want for this run, and I will explain uh, what, wait, what makes this an elegant uh, a challenge run that I enjoy the idea of, for sure. Uh, because it's simplistic, but at the same time, it's probably uh, deceptively one of the more difficult challenge runs uh, that I've had maybe ever, certainly in a, in a while, uh, you know, except for that one that I failed like two minutes in. But in any case, uh, this is called Spaceman because we're just simply not allowed to use a spacebar item here. So that's why I took Kane because I, fig I figured, uh, you know, he has other advantages uh, that make him a, a worthwhile character, like the fact that he has, uh, I really should have gotten those guys to blow up near that Tinsid Rock there. Hmm. But there is a heart up here. But yes, I took Kane because he has the other advantages, like the fact that all of the pills are going to be, at the very least, not bad. Uh, but that's it. Just no spacebar item. Uh, that includes taking Guppy's Paw to uh, get Spirit Hearts. He was very explicit about that in the comments, which I think was a smart decision because I have, you know, been known to exploit that, shall we say. And you know what? Maybe it's a good idea to get some practice not having that many Spirit Hearts and not using Guppy's Paw like that because we are going to be entering... Uh, a new era, I guess, when Rebirth comes out, where Spirit Hearts are no longer going to be able to go off the screen. So I gotta get better at the game, basically, uh, for, you know, the 23rd time, if we're ever gonna make any progress here. I was just realizing, if you actually divide the number of Isaac episodes by 23, that still leaves you, like, with 23 groups of, like, 24 episodes. That is fucking silly. In any case, we are finally getting to our item room here. I'm a little bit concerned because I haven't been able to stay at full health. I really want some bombs. Well, now we're at full health and we have a ton of money. And we've got enough keys to make the shop worthwhile on the first floor. But remember, we can't buy any spacebar item. Well, we can buy it, but it's just a waste of money. So as usual, we picked up Abel as Kane. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to think of what we would need to make this run work uh, long term. Because obviously not... Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? I really thought Abel, that was your wheelhouse there, man. Uh, I guess Abel doesn't fire as quickly as we do, otherwise it would basically be like just getting an extra character, I suppose. Which makes sense why they would, uh, not allow that to happen, but, um... We're gonna need a lot of damage, and, uh, perhaps above all else, we're gonna need a lot of health because we're not gonna have any way to generate it ourselves. In fact, health is probably more important than damage at this point. Uh, simply because it's gonna be a more limiting factor, or a more limited factor, I guess, to be more accurate. Now... I'm hoping, I mean, this is a rare for me to want this, but I really want kind of like a, a bomb upgrade in the first shop here. Mostly like, just to get the uh, extra bombs, so I can actually access some of these tinted rocks, which might give me a much better chance of at least like, medium term success. I don't want to talk about the long term just yet. Um, that tarot card could be beneficial, you never know. Uh, but we'll see how this works out for us. The death card is something that I, I might want to use right away. Why don't we just pop that? I'd rather just not have it taking up my mental inventory. You know, it's not really taking up an inventory slot in Isaac, because I've got nothing else that I'd rather give it to, but it's taking up a little bit of my mental inventory. And I want to clear that queue and just focus on dodging and shooting. Dodge and shoot, man. To paraphrase, uh, Sequelitis a little bit. So please, some bombs at some point. We have a pill, we don't know what it does yet. Uh, Peeper's Eye, another sweet passive, and you know, every passive that we get is, uh, an active I don't, or, uh, yeah, I guess an active I don't have to complain about. An awkward way to phrase that sentence, but, uh, I would rather get a shitty passive than a good active, considering we can't do anything with the active items regardless. The reason I'm not popping this pill yet is just in case it's bombs or key, uh, I don't want to use it, well, I guess now it wouldn't matter, but I didn't want to use it until after we'd used this key to go to the shop. I don't even know what I want from the shop, I guess map and compass, as usual, are the, um, the go-tos here. I kind of want to buy the ladder, so I, I, I will do that, because that's going to be really beneficial on the cave. Ladder almost always pays for itself, whether in the form of uh, damage or health. And this has been a really huge first floor, actually. Uh, I guess technically first two floors, but that's okay. And I'm, I'm pleased with the items we've gotten so far. Obviously, boss room items are going to be probably our bread and butter here, because that's going to be uh, where we're going to get most of our attribute upgrades. That's bad damage to take. I do want to get enough money to buy the Spirit Heart. If we get super low on health, I'm absolutely going to take a trip. You know what? We can probably use Abel to uh, kind of abuse this and kill the spiders without me even being there. Northern Lion, for once, using solid tactics here. We got more bombs now. You know what? Why don't we backtrack right away then? What I was going to say is we'll, you know, backtrack once we uh, are at low health. But we're kind of at low health already, so blowing up these tinted rocks back here seems like a smart idea. This is seriously like the biggest... XL floor I think I've ever seen with the first floors. Now, I might have egg on my face if we realize that, you know, all floors are the same size. Uh, or all XL floors are the same size. But seriously, does this not seem much bigger? There we go. Small rock. Exactly what I wanted. 
as well as the Spirit Heart, of course. I think there was another Tinted Rock up here. There's another chest up here, which I'll blow up. We have the uh, bombs necessary to make this happen. And we get two more bombs out of it, which is smart. There is another Tinted Rock. It was in wherever the uh, explosive human popcorns were. It was down here, okay. So, you know, more keys, more bombs, more Spirit Hearts. One more Spirit Heart, that's fair enough, we're gonna live. Uh, I will pop this pill now. It is tears up, so I'm feeling pretty good about the upgrades that we got. We basically just got like a floor's worth of upgrades there between the damage upgrade and the uh, tears upgrade. And we still have two bosses to fight here. Obviously, I'm hoping for HP upgrades or damage upgrades or tears upgrades. Range upgrades, speed upgrades don't really appeal to me. Well, you know, a single speed upgrade might be okay, but um, yeah, probably HP we're gonna be looking at in the whole scheme of things. And now, the, the main item that would probably increase our chances the most at this point, beyond getting, obviously, like a mom's knife or something like that, uh, would absolutely be something like the Relic or the Miter. Now, those might not be possible, but they might be possible. I'm kind of... my fault with this run, if I end up losing, I would not be surprised if it ends up being because I don't tailor my strategy enough uh, for this kind of unique condition. Uh, because right now, it, it's so similar to a vanilla run that I'm playing it as if it's a vanilla run. I, I just hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. There's a tiers plus HP upgrade. Solid upgrade. Anything that increases our rate of fire is super worthwhile. Gertie Jr. is a pain in the ass, but uh, provided I just kind of stay away, Abel should be able to do some damage. That was a really nice shot from Gertie Jr. there. Uh, and I shouldn't have to worry about crowd control because Gertie Jr. should just destroy a, a lot of its own kind of riffraff that it creates. I can't believe I managed to get out of the way there. Uh, and I can't believe I managed to put myself in harm's way there, sadly. It's okay though, Gertie Jr. almost dead. Peeper's Eye maybe did a little bit of good work there, but we got a little bit more HP upgrade. I would say it's down to the next floor. That floor went really well actually. We got uh, two tiers upgrades, a damage upgrade, and two health upgrades. Curse of the Labyrinth again. To what do I owe the pleasure? Okay, this is seriously a clusterfuck here at the start. In my defense, I don't know how I could have done that room better. I guess I would have made a break for it right off the bat. Two of diamonds, obviously not very worthwhile right now. Good thing we got those HP upgrades and those spirit hearts on the last floor. Or we might not be here today. Now, I do need some keys. We're gonna need uh, at least two to go to the item rooms here. Obviously, I would love to go to the shop as well, but that's not going to be our number one concern. Oh, I have the ladder! I totally forgot about that. All right. Crisis averted. Not only in the game, but actually in the comments as well, because people would be like, holy shit, Northern Lion, you are fucking dumb. Which is okay. I commiserate with those comments a lot of the time. This is a Ouija board. It's gonna make it very difficult to shoot this poop to the point where... Oh, there's actually a penny there. I was gonna say I'm probably not gonna bother, but now that that's paid out... You know, I guess since we are Kane, we, we really should uh, take every opportunity to shoot the poop because I believe luck up will cause consumables to drop faster. Um, let's come up here then. We don't have the ability to get those pills. If I could get a hanged man card, I would be psyched because, uh, you know, pills as Kane obviously are possibly like our greatest source of statistical upgrades or you know upgrades to our to our attributes if you will a little bit more money here we only really need to get to uh eight cents yeah eight cents would work uh to make the shop worthwhile because i could always pop this two of diamonds to make it necessary but we'll save it as long as we can if we find some spirit hearts i would love to play that demon judgment and snag a free item oh i don't like this i don't like this oh the ladder there we go like i said always pays for itself one way or another I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna dodge you, dodge you. I said dodge, not dock. Common mistake. Now, one of these guys is gonna explode. This is actually one of my least favorite rooms. I don't talk about it all that much, uh, but I absolutely hate this room. Yep, for that exact reason, basically, that I, my dodging ability is crippled. Not that, you know, normally I'm not very good at dodging to begin with, but this room just makes it even harder for me. So let's continue moving on here. Got some... I, I like the ladder on this room because we can actually get to the uh, consumables that this room will drop in all likelihood. Unless it drops them in the middle, in which case we could have gotten them regardless, but you know what I mean. So we do have a uh, golden poop here. Always tempting. I thought I had the ability to fly. I'm lucky I didn't get hit there actually because I tried to hide out over that rock. Okay, so we do get another sense here. We're definitely going to have enough to go to the shop. We do have the, the keys necessary at this point as well. Abel accidentally loosing these neutral flies. Seriously, destroy, there we go. Now, with 11 cents, we could buy a, a couple of items from the shop, potentially. So let's go check that out. I was kind of concerned that we'd run into greed, but this might be a good thing. Either we get the steam sale, we get the quarter. The quarter might only be a, a, a super greed update, or sorry, a super greed drop. So I don't want to necessarily say, or get our hopes up here with respect to the quarter, but 
We either get the, the Steam sale or we get a lot of money, which we it looks like we're getting here. So that's like five extra cents. And that's effectively 10 extra cents by way of the two of diamonds card later. So, so far, so good. This has been pretty, I mean, the fact the conditions of this run have not really come into effect yet. We haven't even had the opportunity to get a spacebar item, uh, much less use one. So we're just going to continue onwards here. I'm going to fight these bosses right away. If we can, oh, that was a cheap shot, Pestilence, and you know it. Uh, but at least this Pestilence doesn't create, like, a, a damaging creep. It's just a slowing creep, I believe. I don't know if I've ever walked on it. Uh, maybe I just think it's slowing because it kind of looks like glue. He also doesn't create bombs, which is good for us. So, you know, in the long run, he's probably easier to fight. Spiders are kind of a pain in the dick, but uh, we'll snag our cube of meat and get back to full health. Might as well fight our other boss straight away, to be honest with you. A little bit of added defense doesn't really help us out all that much, but uh, we're only fighting... The Wicked, anyway, who is uh, probably one of the easiest bosses. I don't know, man. Like, the the second tier of bosses oftentimes kind of seems a little bit easier than the first tier. I think Pestilence might very well be easier than Famine. Uh, and, you know, we also have the Husk, the, the like Duke of Flies wannabe. I'm, I'm taking too much damage here. I'm starting to eat my words a little bit. Uh, so we probably won't earn a deal with the Devil here, but, you know, maybe we'll get something valuable nonetheless. HP upgrade? Hey, the crate, it's okay. Uh, largely because of this extra pill that we'll get, which could be, you know, vary in effectiveness between awesome or just kind of a... Uh, oh, it's a tears upgrade. Never mind. Fairly awesome then. So we got a, uh, basically just a tears upgrade from that boss, as well as uh, another key, another bomb, and a spirit heart. And we're obviously going to continue looking around here, because we have a, a lot of good stuff to look out for on this floor. We're obviously going to look for the second item room. Item rooms have been fairly good to us so far. Uh, and we're gonna look for, well, Demon Judgment is very tempting, but I need the Spirit Hearts to make this work first. Uh, a Hanged Man card, or, you know, maybe just gaining the ability to fly randomly. Another Spirit Heart there means, uh, Demon Judgment is going to be perhaps even a little bit more playable. Or more lucrative. Well, maybe not more lucrative, but more possible for me to play and still feel safe in my chances moving forward, at least. Uh, not to get our hopes up here, because maybe I just end up, you know, taking a fuck ton of damage on this five spider room and then choose not. Nah, it was the worst! Uh, and then I choose not to go uh, deal with Demon Judgment. But the opportunity to get a deal with the Devil item without having to actually give up any permanent health is uh, too tempting for me to pass up. So, we might as well do a little bit more exploration here. We've got good keys. Our item room is Yum Heart, which we can't use at all. Don't want to uh, subvert the integrity of this challenge run. Now, with a spirit heart and a half, we do have some red hearts kind of sitting around here. So I think I can justify getting, uh, or justify playing Demon Judgment all the way down to zero health here if necessary. The real question is going to be, uh, what if I go down to zero health, pick up some health, am I then going to come back and play it a little bit more? We'll, you know, cross that bridge when we come to it. Obviously, I don't want to inadvertently destroy our chances. He's gonna pay out. He's gonna just stay positive, uh, so my worst case scenario has kind of come true here. But, we're still doing fine. We just need to absolutely get all this health that's available here. So this is gonna take us back to... If I could only pick up that Yum Heart and use it once, we get another two plays. Um, it's tempting. Because it could be such a boon if we manage to make it work, but I get three more plays of Demon Judgment. What are the odds of him paying out? Maybe 33%. A third, I would say? We've already put a lot of money into him. Not not to get into gambler's fallacy here, but, uh... I want to give it a shot. I mean, why not? Who dares wins, right? Hopefully we'll run across some tinted rocks on the next floor if this goes absolutely horribly. Well, he paid out with a tarot card. The tarot card is the Hermit. Uh, that's... Effectively, he just gave us a key. So, you know what? We're gonna do a little bit more exploration here, because I'm pissed off with this guy. Uh, I guess what I could do as well is pick up the Strength card, and with the Strength card I could get one extra heart that I could use to play Demon Judgment. Uh, the effects might be a little bit unpredictable, but let's let's finish off this floor here. I'm normally not this diligent, I don't, I don't necessarily want to backtrack, uh, but I really, if possible, want to get as many hearts. There might be a library down here, not that that would actually benefit us at all, because they only drop active items, I, I believe, anyway. I don't know, I, I'm kind of just walking around with my head cut off here, but I, if I can get any hearts, then that's awesome. I mean, the ability to get some extra keys is valuable as well. Uh, surprising amount of uh, riffraff on these floors. Come on here. I, as long as I stay still, this grandfather fly apparently can't hit me. Peeper's Eye did do one pretty sweet pass there. I'm just gonna stay, play it cool. Peeper's Eye will run into this guy 
If not on this pass, there we go. That actually worked out really well. Cursed Skull, I don't want at all. There's one more play on Demon Judgment. And uh, again, I didn't realize we had like a whole unexplored continent of a floor over here. There's another penny, which gives us another bomb. Burnt Penny paying out pretty well. And there's a Mob Trap room, so you know, it's it, it's been an interesting, surprisingly, I, would, I don't know if I'd necessarily say lucrative, but potentially lucrative uh, side of the map here. But I can't go to the Mob Trap room because I don't have a darned um, full health. I guess a uh, darned doesn't make any sense there. I am looking for the uh, secret room. Now, it might cost me a lot of bombs to look for the secret room, but it could pay out substantially as well uh, because of this Burnt Penny if we end up finding, you know, nine cents in there we've got a decent shot i've got one more play on demon judgment here unless i want to start giving up spirit hearts which i definitely do not so i guess we're just gonna make it happen and we're gonna see if this works i hope so wow okay and he did pay out he paid out with guppy's tail not the best item but definitely means that it was worth doing that backtracking uh that probably won't make a huge difference for us in the long run but we do have enough keys to possibly make guppy's tail worthwhile if that starts snagging us uh, hp upgrades and, um, you know, other, you know, maybe pills, I don't know. Whatever we find in these golden chests, then it could be worthwhile. I'm just gonna take one last look for the secret room here. That is not it. So, I feel a little bit disappointed in that. But, uh, in spite of that, this floor, not as good as the last floor. But still, uh, somewhat viable, I suppose. And this floor is gonna be a big one, because hopefully, first off, it's not an XL floor, which is fantastic, because we now have doubled the amount of shops we're gonna get for the remainder of the game. Which is great because we obviously have the money and keys necessary to, you know, supplement our ability to go to those. But, uh, at the same time... I don't know what I was going to say after that, actually. But, we're going to make it work regardless, so we're going to do our damnedest to try at least. Uh, Burnt Penny, I guess because of Kane's luck, Burnt Penny is paying out like crazy. This is a, a very dangerous room, obviously. I mean, I'm kind of in a dangerous position regardless Ray ah I knew something like that was gonna happen I mean we're now we're in a very dangerous position in fact just I because the, the thing I worry about is peeper's eye is going to be uh, peeper's eye and Abel are going to be like hitting these things and thus it's a little bit out of my control when these bomb flies explode uh, obviously one more hit will kill us so I'm, I'm very concerned about that right now that was, a, uh, that was a tight dodge in there but that's okay we're good we got a spirit heart back as long as we don't die here, uh, I feel a lot better about our chances on this floor. We really just need to get some hearts, and that probably means just getting, you know, to an item room or the shop. I did probably the shop, if I had to guess. Rainbow Baby, sure, solid upgrade. Um, not necessarily my favorite uh, passive to be getting, but it is a passive nonetheless. Extra damage is good, plus, uh, you know, random ability to slow via the little gish occasionally at least and we, we have a little bit more leeway ah uh, there's another tinted rock here which is actually again potentially like a huge boon uh like the boon the biggest boon i've seen since ed that's actually it sounds like i'm saying that ed boon is a a large man and i have absolutely no idea whether he is or not so i apologize to the the boon estate the boon identity if you will for that uh Perhaps mistake there. We're just gonna hit this in. That was one damn good bomb, and we effectively paid zero for it because we got another one back. Map easy buy because that'll show us uh, where the. Oh, I really should have popped two of diamonds earlier. It kind of doesn't matter though. I'm gonna buy this key. Uh, that, that was poor play on my part. I could have had like 20 extra cents by now, but it's it's all good. Uh, just bad optimization, but we're still gonna be fine for money here in all likelihood, unless I come across a series of very good judgments. Uh, which sounds like a Lemony Snicket series of books that would not be near as, nearly as popular. A series of unfortunate events, sure, it sounds like, you know, there's strife, mischief, etc, etc. A series of good judgments just sounds like, you know, the, the life of a well-lived man or something. Or a well-lived lady, I'm not trying to bring gender politics into this at all. Uh, let's just back it up here. The Binding of Isaac series from Northern Lion is an equal opportunity series. You can enjoy regardless of your, your gender, your, your tastes in food. Whether you prefer fruits or vegetables, even though we all know, let's be honest here, fruits are way better. Uh, we're gonna drop a bomb here and hopefully pick up a golden chest. Yeah, wow, that, for once, you know, I, I say you can't always get what you want. The corollary there is sometimes you absolutely can get what you want. So that golden chest, I'm now we're gonna see if we get what we want twice in a row, which is some kind of attribute upgrade update, uh, preferably an HP upgrade. Well, we picked up a dime, so I don't feel too bad about that. Uh, mistake with the two of diamonds right now and we got another golden chest and we've got the keys necessary to make this work it's red patch 
It, it doesn't matter. Let's stay. Let's keep burnt penny for now because the bombs are going to be useful. Red patch is only, only useful if we get hit, and I'm not intending on getting hit anytime soon. So we're still. It, it, this is the weirdest run because I expected the inability to take a space bar item to be like hugely detrimental, and I suppose it is. But at the same time, we haven't really had the opportunity, except for Yumhard, to take a an, or to take a space bar item at all. So, effectively, it's made very little difference so far. Basically, what the challenge run has been so far is don't take Yumheart, which, you know, fine by me. We have a an unlimited number of keys remaining on this floor, so I'm, you know, rather than being sore about the fact that we've already used several keys, I'm instead going to choose to be positive and uh, hope that we come across a number of golden chests later, uh, thanks to our affiliation with Guppy's Paw. Sorry, Guppy's Tail. My bad. Always get those two confused. Actually, that's not true. I almost never get those two confused. My apologies. That was a lame excuse. Now, um, I'm gonna drop a bomb in here, and that should blow all of this stuff to an area where I can at least have a slightly better chance of picking it up without hurting myself. And I, again, I don't feel bad about using bombs, because the, uh, the pennies that we pick up should justify it. A little bit, anyway. Um, I wonder if I can get this bomb without walking on the spikes. I can indeed. That was kind of close, but we made it work. I'm glad I took the risk there regardless. This is a room uh, that is definitely due for a spin cycle. We just travel around in a circle here and we should be A-OK. -okay. More bombs! Random bomb drops, as good as the, the penny bomb drops in my opinion. I'm gonna skip over Fortune Teller, as tempting as it might be. Uh, I kinda don't wanna waste any time. That's one thing I wish I'd asked Edmund in, about in the interview yesterday. Uh, Cause I'd heard in other interviews, sure, that's a uh, fine drop here. I'd heard in other interviews he said he wanted to decrease the amount of time uh, that it took to like effectively play arcades, and I'm interested to know specifically how he's going to do that. Like, if there is going to be an option that, you know, we've talked about a little bit where it would be sweet if you could just choose how much money at once to dump into the arcades. But uh, you know, it just slipped my mind yesterday. There were a lot of important questions to to get handled. Perhaps arcades were um, not necessarily the most important thing to talk about. In any oh, okay. I'm I've lost all of my spirit hearts. I don't know how that happened. Did Champion War? I had three. I don't know if Champion War does like triple damage or something. I only got hit a couple times. We are going to get the second level cube of meat. Mostly like this because it means we do have a chance at the third level cube of meat, which is pretty beneficial. Guppy's Paw and Spirit of the Night. Spirit of the Night, very tempting, but I don't think it's worth our very limited health. Guppy's Paw obviously is totally off the table. So that might be the first time that there's actually been a huge detriment uh, to the challenge run suggestion here because now... Uh, without being able to take Guppy's Paw, that does restrict me a little bit, because I could have had nine Spirit Hearts by now. Not that that necessarily would have made things, uh, you know, for I can't believe I got zero bombs from Burnt Penny there, but, uh, not that that would have made things a foregone conclusion by any stretch of the imagination. Nine Spirit Hearts, not a lot, especially when we're not doing superb damage. Uh, but we're, we're doing okay here. We're definitely at the level where we should reasonably have that expectation where Mom's gonna be doable. Uh, and you know, if mom's, d first off, I realize the humor in saying mom's doable, but I apologize for that to my own mom specifically. Another spirit heart, very valuable. Uh, let's check out our shop. Thank God there's not super greed. There's not too much I actually want in here, but uh, we kind of might as well buy it all, even the bomb. Because it's not like we're going to need 38 cents versus 33 moving forward. We might as well play this once just to get our money's worth. Mom's Pearl. Tempting, because it does drop Spirit Hearts, but um, I'm going to stick with Burnt Penny for now. 21 bombs, sure, why not? We'll have a chance to use those against uh, a lot of bosses in the later game. And hopefully we come across a ton of Tinted Rocks. But uh, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, hey, what I was going to say is that, uh, you know, if, if we say that Mom is a, a, a fightable boss, a boss that we can have a reasonable expectation of killing, then Mom's Heart usually falls into that same crowd, because she's a, a similar level of difficulty, oftentimes actually a little bit easier in my opinion. Depending, of course, on which kind of subset of the moms you get. Subset of the moms sounds like a sweet, like, suburban rock band or something. I don't know. It could be like a a, a new Weezer or something. Or it, it could be the name of the album, at least. The band, I think that would be hard from a marketing standpoint, but uh, let's knock these bad boys off. And we will get access to the item room where we'll find Sacrificial Dagger. I was really hoping that that was Mom's Knife, but... You know, that's both a little bit of added defense and a little bit of added offense, so I, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth on that one if we're going to continue to go through uh, Northern Lion catchphrases here. We're going to play Judgment for sure. In one cent, he dropped an HP upgrade, which was absolutely worthwhile. Uh, probably increases our chances of success by a fairly significant margin. So thank you to Judgment for that. Uh, what are we looking out for now? I didn't really get 
uh, as many damage upgrades as I would have been psyched about, or as many health upgrades. Uh, despite that first floor going really well, things slowed down a little bit after that, so hopefully we get an H... I was really hoping we got an HP upgrade from Gluttony, but he did drop a golden chest, which gave us a speed upgrade. It's something. It's not uh, gonna win the game for us. In fact, that probably just takes us back to base speed, uh, considering that I was uh, probably a little bit slower than normal due to the small rock earlier, but uh, come down here. I can't pick that up yet, but maybe there's an arcade on- oh, maybe there's an arcade on this floor where I could pick up another HP upgrade later. Uh, potentially, but I do want to get all of the money necessary, mostly because this money just equals bombs for once. Money equals power? Not necessarily. Money equals bombs on this run, and we do have 27 bombs. As many dresses as Katherine Heigl has. Or had, I guess, because, I don't know. As, as much as I'm embarrassed to admit it, I did see 27 dresses. I was on a bus to New York. Oh, and uh, they were like, we're going to show some movies that are New York themed. So, like, okay, cool. Are we going to watch, like, Manhattan or something? Nope. 27 dresses. Telepills has just taken us all the way back here. 27 dresses and uh, a movie about an eight-year-old falling in love called Little Manhattan. I guess, you know, there's a lot of people that looked easily offended on the bus, shall we say? Perhaps people of uh, an advanced or a wise age might be a, the most polite way to put it, if I'm being respectful. So I understand why they didn't show, like, fucking Escape from New York or something. But still, give me something at least a little bit interesting. 27 dresses. Who cares about this rich lady who lives a, a largely fantastic life except for the fact that, you know, she's not married. Just get over it, lady. Maybe if you exercise a little bit more economic responsibility, you don't have to buy a new dress. Well, I guess you do have to buy a new dress for every wedding. At least make the bride pay for it, man. It's her wedding. If you can afford it, you don't have that many problems. There's people starving to death right now. I don't know. That took a weird turn. Getting more keys, which is good. We are going to play the shit out of this blood bank. I think I have enough health to, uh, or enough health sitting on the level to just pick it all up. And, uh, you know, take myself down to basically zero here and then still get to a sustainable level. I'm kind of pissed off that I don't seem to be getting that many bombs from these pennies. But, you know, at some point, we already have 32 bombs. So, uh, I can't believe that blood bank didn't pay out with the HP upgrade. But it's all good, we'll pick up our remaining health over here. Uh, it might not take us quite back to full, but... Uh, it's gonna get us pretty close. It got us more than halfway, at least. And, uh, you know, maybe I, I will regret that decision, because I don't know if I want to... Or, I don't know if I necessarily feel confident enough to defeat Mom... Uh, without taking five hits? That's a... It's not a, a little bit... Like, I have a, a good kind of leeway... Oh, that's gonna be damage, yep. Uh, it's a little bit of leeway, but at the same time, well, there's a little extra health and a little bit more extra health. Now we're back to full health, but, you know, at the same time, we, we could easily find ourselves taking that much damage. We don't have any crowd control, so to speak, uh, in, a, in a traditional sense here, but it should be okay. I mean, we're doing very good damage, or at least above average damage, probably, for this point in the game. Uh, so, as long as I can take care of most of these enemies as they kind of come out, uh, I feel like I should be okay. I hate that damn hand, man! It's okay. The foot comes down. Mom is almost dead. This fight was not nearly as bad as I expected it to be. I mean, I, I wasn't expecting to lose on this fight, but I also was not expecting to get away only taking one hit. So that HP upgrade's big. Polaroid is not going to be that useful for us, but the Burnt Penny, you know, kudos to you. We are juiced up here with 35 bombs. Do want to get the compass, but uh, that's probably not going to be possible unless we come across the world's most benevolent judgment right here. So, uh, we played him twice, he's gonna give us some red hearts. We can basically afford to play this guy 41 times. Not that I want to, uh, so you can make this easier on both of us, Judgment, and just don't milk me for all I'm worth. Instead, please, just hit me up early here. Well, plenty of bombs. L literally the one consumable I actually probably could not need right now. Well, I don't really need pennies either. Sure, the Magician, beautiful card, who cares? Um... I'm just going to pop that Magician card right away so I can stop picking up the Fool card every single time. More bombs, again, feels good to have such great luck, but uh, the keys are fantastic as well. We'll use those on golden chests and uh, the chest if we manage to get there, which is probably not too optimistic right now. I'm going to pop the Hanged Man right away. Uh, it might seem like a silly decision, but that at least helps me from walking over the spikes here and I can pick up these items a little bit more easily. Mostly it's just for the convenience of not having to... Um, you know, walk over that tarot card by accident. And we get the magnet! So was that worth it? Almost certainly not, but I can't really complain, because, uh, you know, I didn't lose anything except for my time going in there. Now, this Gemini room, uh, they are a champion Gemini. 
So they should be dropping some kind of consumable after this, which is okay by me. At this point, probably hoping that it's uh, Spirit Hearts, because I'm going to need those to, to float my way through the rest of the game. We don't have the wafer or anything like that, so... Uh, basically, I'm, I'm just relying on my dodging skills at this point. We're a little under... Uh, I was going to say under-leveled, but this isn't an MMO. Uh, we're, we're a little bit uh, under-damaging right now. We're not doing as much damage as I would want, and we're probably a lot under where I want to be from a health standpoint. Uh, but we do have 40 bombs, though, so, you know, there's there's trade-offs in everything in life, and uh, our trade-off here is that we have uh, little damage, well, decent damage, but uh, little less than I would like on our tiers, little less health than I would like, but certainly the ability to do a, a substantial amount of damage through bombs, if uh, only temporarily, at least. So, you know, at this point, I would actually welcome getting some kind of, like, uh, maybe not remote detonator, because I can't use that, but, uh, you know, poison bombs by Bob's Curse, or homing bombs, or Mr. Mega. Any of those might actually be uh, pretty well synergized with our existing items. So, we are going to kill these guys. we got two golden chests in this room. We haven't really had a great payout from a golden chest yet, which surprises me. I think we've gotten one speed upgrade, and, and everything else has just been like a, a stack of consumables. It's okay. I mean, I'm still glad we went through the trouble to get Guppy's Paw. It just hasn't paid out as well as it uh, might be expected to. We're doing really well on money on this run, but... Uh, to a certain extent, that kind of doesn't really matter. I did, there was, it, draw a map for me, that's like a, one of those newspaper chess puzzles that you get. Draw like a fucking diagram on how I could have not taken damage on that room. At the very least, uh, I will backtrack and get, uh, oh, yeah, uh, it doesn't matter. It might seem like it matters that I took damage there, but it actually doesn't, because I'm just going to backtrack and get health regardless. We're going to fight our boss on this floor, and we're going to move on. Uh, I hope we're gonna be okay, but, uh, you know, our first boss here, really hoping to be fighting death. And, uh, if we fight death, we get that third level cube of meat. That's the best possible situation for us. Unless we manage to get a deal with the devil mom's knife or something like that, but that's gonna take us super low on health. Oh, okay, well, we're fighting Conquest. Sometimes, I, I do believe Conquest can give cube of meat. I've really gotta stop taking damage, though. Uh, so assuming... Oh, fuck me, I'm already half dead. I started this at full health. I could always use the fool card, teleport out, and then... Oh, Jesus Christ. We're probably going to die here. Is it worth it to teleport out? It may be? That was bad uh, damage there. Well, not damage. Bad play there on my part. Drop the bomb. Shoot it in. I, I just can't hit him. Ah, and there's the beams from heaven. I guess we, we teleport out at this point. Uh, and we we try to get more health and then take a second crack at it. I'm not super happy about the way that this is going, but, uh, you know, at, at least never accuse me of just, you know, throwing away a match here, because I am doing my damnedest, obviously, to, to make this work to the point of sacrificing a, a substantial amount of time on my boss room to try to, you know, hit the reset button, basically, and, and put us in a position where maybe we have a much better chance of success. Hopefully. I mean, we were we had like a 0% chance of success towards the end of that boss fight. Things were just getting real bad. Now, of course, the, the, the caveat here is that I'd somehow have to amass more health on the Utero 1 here than I'm going to lose. I have to amass three and a half more hearts. There's one, so maybe it's not going to be as hard as I expect. Uh, but I expect that it's going to be fairly damn hard here. Uh, hopefully we come across a useful tarot card or something. A full health tarot card. Lovers. Even the devil... Empress, High Priestess, any of those would be pretty worthwhile. In fact, something that doubled my damage would be way better than something that just took me to full health right away. In all likelihood, at least. Yep, there's a little bit of damage, so we've lost our existing Spirit Heart already. In fact, we've lost, uh, or lost our, the health that we picked up on the last floor, or on the last room, but we also lost one more beyond that. Bombs are key. Well, now we have 34 keys and 6 bombs. That actually substantially lowers our chances of success on this boss, I would say. Uh, that was a very nice little uh, bobby pin dodge there. It wasn't really a hairpin. It was more like a bobby pin, you know? I don't know anything about turns. <laughs> I know left turn, I know right turn. That's it. This is a standard Gemini, so I won't be using any bombs to blow it up because I can't afford to, quite frankly. Uh, you know, 34 keys, that's the worst possible timing for a Bombs Are Key upgrade. Or, lateral, step lateral, I guess. Um, not super psyched about our chances, considering we're, we're half a Spirit Heart above where we used to be. Uh, but I have about 30 less bombs. And we're kind of running out of, of options here. Conquest shouldn't be that difficult, uh, but for some reason he was. Now, we're going to have to do basically exactly the same shit that I thought was so remarkable on the last room. 
uh, or a couple rooms ago, repeated here. We're down to half a spirit heart. You know, I, I'm pretty confident that we're done. If, yep, there we go. <laughs> Uh, at least I predicted it. That might be the first time I've ever actually been killed by that enemy. I don't know if I've ever seen that picture on the diary before. But in any case, thank you to BossLog96. Again, sounds like what I dropped in the toilet this morning. Uh, or what I'm about to drop in the toilet right now, if I may be so blunt. In any case, uh, that was the Spaceman run. We didn't really see too many effects of it beyond the fact that I wasn't allowed to pick up that Guppy's Paw or the Yum Heart. But I appreciate the elegance of that run regardless, and uh, I always... You know, have a preference for any run that doesn't require cheat engine. In any case, thank you guys for watching. Continue suggesting your own runs. And uh, I will do the ones I deem most entertaining, absurd, appropriate, elegant, etc., etc. Basically, a, a totally arbitrary series of criteria. But in, in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you next time.